YouTubers and viewers of all kinds. I'm here to bring you just a quick, simple, easy tutorial on downloading your Java, your Technic Launcher, and of course allocating your RAM. Now, what you're going to need to go ahead and understand is that your Java that you're going to need is a 64-bit version, and this actually is going to allow you to be able to allocate more RAM to your mod packs for mod packs that require more RAM. Now, the way you're actually going to do this is, well, we're going to start from the beginning. So, you're going to want to start off by going into well, your search engine, and that can consist of either Google, Microsoft Edge, uh, for those who use it, I don't think anybody uses Internet Explorer anymore, but anything that you use to access the web with. We're just going to go ahead and get started with my window. Search for the Technic Launcher. And we're going to go ahead and click the first thing that we see that says to download it. Then go ahead and install the one that is made for your system. Now, of course, I don't need to download it because, well, I already have it downloaded. Therefore, I'm not going to re-download it because of my allocations of my well hard drives and such so usually if you download it it pops down in the corner and you're good to go but if to say you didn't see it check three bubble button and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna see it <clears throat> really most definitely on the top is where you really see it but with, with that being said you're gonna want to go ahead and come back and try to open it and usually what's gonna happen is you can't open it or if you get lucky you might be able to open it because well when the vanilla's on there and you don't really need to the 64 bit to run vanilla because vanilla's vanilla but uh, anyways you're gonna want to at least go get the 64 bit version and the 64 bit version from my knowledge can work for either three systems but to say that you're gonna want to run a mod pack just go to your Google or any other web browser and search up for a regular Java download. And you're going to want to go ahead and click the very first download that you see. And then when you get there, you want to click the download button in the top middle again. And then you're going to want to ignore all this other recommended version stuff. And you want to look at the bottom part of the screen. And you're going to see the not right operating system question mark. And you're going to want to click see all Java downloads. And that's where you're going to go ahead and find your Windows offline. 64 bit. Now, of course, you see that there is Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux, and there's other types of obviously Java type. Well, we get the point. So, you're going to go ahead and move on and download the Windows offline 64 bit Java. And of course, you're going to see here in probably literally just a couple seconds. I'm going to be really silly and click it and think that I need to download it thinking that it's going to actually take me to another website, but it's really not. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this operation because I don't need it. So to say that you've downloaded it, go ahead and follow all the prompt links that you need. And then once you have that completely all the way installed, open it again and click your, click, click your launcher options. I apologize, guys. And you'll see general settings, and then you want to go ahead and click in the Java settings. When you get to these Java settings, make sure you're on with a 64-bit. Whether it's latest or default, it's the same download that you downloaded. But you're also going to want to double check your memory allocation of RAM. You're going to want to at least do 2 gigs of RAM, if not at least 3. Don't go over half. Now, with that being said, I don't go to 4. I usually stick at 3 because we're actually using this as far as a server side part of needing to allocate. So, <clears throat> I put it at 3 because, well, the server allocates all the blocks we're placing and uses all the memory on the server itself so unless you're running like crazy single player stuff because you're a loner like that well that's when you need more RAM so to say the least and you have that done good job you're following very well and you can do good with instructions but moving forward we're gonna go ahead and understand how to download the pack <clears throat> mine for example you can search it up word for word or you can follow me to well an internet search and go ahead and search for the Technic platform. You're going to be taken there and you're going to want to go ahead and click on mod packs. And when you get to the mod packs, you'll see a little search engine area to put it in. 
That is when you're going to want to type in exactly word for word Nova Energistics, capital N, capital E, and of course the forward slash kind of deal. Now, sorry for the punctuation if it's incorrect. Once you go there, click on the first one that pops up. That's usually only going to be mine because that's the only, well, unique name that's typed like that. You can see all discussions and mods or whatnot, and you can follow through with it if that's what you like. You can also go to Discord, but in this case, we're just going to go ahead and install that mod pack. Copy that API link. Go ahead and just do Control C. It's the easiest, quickest way to do this. It forces copy instead of having to worry about the mouse. And then <clears throat> close it, and then copy it into your your Discord or your Technic launcher. And it's just Control V. You can't really do it with the mouse. And you'll see it's the only one that pops up. When it does that, you'll see where it says Play for me. It'll say Install. Go ahead and install it. Once you're done installing, you can go ahead and you can click uh, Play. But other than that, um, you're you're good to go. You just launch it, do what you need to do, and <clears throat> the server is already in there. You click multiplayer, and you know you well play the server and enjoy yourself. Now, with that being said, say hello to my great family. Um, but with that being said, uh, I hope this guy's you know, this helps you. It, it has a bug, and there's there's other bugs towards closing minecraft 2 but that's an se binary deal i don't want you guys to have to really worry much about that but i really hope you like this video please leave a like and do subscribe and if you want to follow my channel hit that little notification icon it looks like a little bell it'd be great to have you guys follow through me with all these videos and i hope to see you around Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me